What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Hi, welcome to Omri Unfiltered. I'm Amala. And I'm Risa. And today, we're going to be talking about catfishing, but not the catfishing that I think you're you're used to. Not the MTV online dating catfish show, which that's scary in itself. We're going to talk about what I think to be an even scarier form of catfishing, and that is personality catfishing. And I feel like this is something that happens every day all the time not even with dating it's just people pretending to be someone that they're not yes bitches be crazy (laughs) (laughs) so recently a clip on tiktok went viral yeah and i'm just gonna read you what this girl posted and you know let mind you this got 410,000 likes on tiktok meaning this is resonating with people she says When he posted on his story asking for book recommendations, so I DM'd him a list of 20 books, but I included all of his favorite books to impress him, even though I haven't read them and only knew of them from stalking his Insta. And then he asked me on a date in August, and I brought him a book to borrow because I knew it would guarantee a second date and keep me on his mind until Thanksgiving break. And now we're married. Fake. That's fake. It's (laughs) fake. I've got to come over and see the fake news. Let's go. Immediately when I read that, my first instinct was, oh, no, 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 no. I feel so bad for this poor man because I know it's a small thing. It's books, right? And people will say, oh, I kind of think that's cute. It's kind of endearing that she looked up his favorite books and, you know, put together this whole scheme. To me, it's psycho. It's giving psycho. And it's giving insecurity, too. Like, you, you couldn't, you had to be somebody else to try to pull this guy. Like you couldn't be yourself. You knew that wasn't enough. So you had to lie and pretend like you had the exact same interests that he had. And that, my friends, is I guess a foundational lesson in personality catfishing. It is people, both men and women, although I don't know, we'll we'll maybe decide who is more likely to perpetrate this this illness onto other people. (laughs) But it's when you lie about your personality, your interests, and who you are in order to bag a man and I think it happens far more than actual looks catfishing. No, I I definitely agree. And we're trying to find some studies on this. And the internet told us a few things. But it seems about two-thirds of people will lie on the first date. And those are just people who admitted it in a survey. So imagine what the number actually is for those who go and tell lies on the first date. Now, it could be small things like little white lies. Oh, I love to go hiking. I'm really outdoorsy. And then it turns out you're not. But... Some of these lies were wild. So this Daily Mail article went over the differences between how women tell lies and how men tell lies. And the number one thing that men would lie about is their wealth and their occupation. And then the number one thing that women would lie about is their age. And then second is occupation, but not as much as men. Now, you come to think at least to some extent, you're going to find these things out pretty soon. I think it'd be pretty easy to suss out somebody's actual occupation and their actual age you'd hope makes me think that maybe people that are casually dating are more apt to lie because they're not going to go further in the relationship that was a through line that i saw i saw a lot of posts on the internet of uh, girls in particular saying that they would go on first dates and completely fabricate their entire background, their entire personality, uh, paint themselves to be out uh, very, very fun loving or have a very unique occupation because they didn't think the date was going to go anywhere and they were just doing it for like a free meal and some fun. To me, it's psychotic to lie and think that's fun. Like to, to be to be someone that you're not, like that's like entertaining to you. To me... That's one level of crazy. What's even crazier than that is the people who openly admit to lying about themselves in long-term relationships in order to get marriage or children. And I want you guys to comment your personal experiences with this. Has anybody ever personality catfished you? Because I see all these girls talking about how in their long-term relationships, they painted themselves out to be fun loving and charismatic and like girls who would be down for anything and are super fun and and flirty and then once they bag the man and they're in a long-term commitment they have marriage they have kids they're done anyone else personality catfish their boyfriend a little bit like back in the day i think he thought i was so fun and flirty and now i'm just a grumpy lump honey got a booty like pow 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 Honey, got some movies like wow, oh wow. Um, I love. 
I love the vibe of heroin. I would also be curious to know if you all think that there are some small lies like liking a sports team or liking activity that you feel like are it's okay to lie about it's fine versus you know lying about your actual occupation and wealth yeah because i do hear i've heard guys definitely say oh she pretended to like that football team that i watch all the time or she pretended she knew something about the sport and they sort of tell stories as though it's endearing and charming to act that way Mm. to me and maybe it's because women are less threatening than men if somebody's lying to me to any extent on on a first date which is very low risk low stakes if you're lying on a first date what are you going to do later on in your relationship and how much are you actually lying about and i've heard from a lot of men that end up marrying a woman or having kids with her that as soon as the ring was on the finger her entire personality shifts or as soon as the baby's born the entire personality shifts and i can't help but think there is some element to both male and female relationships of some people pretending to be a certain person in order to get you and to secure you and get commitment from you and they feel like now that i've got you i can be my true self scary Mm -hmm. but so scary and i think it goes along the lines of people just not only being a completely different person, but not trying as hard kind of goes hand in hand with not doing as much for your partner anymore because you 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 have them. So why try? Which is a really unfortunate thing in yeah. marriage. It's a tale as old as time, I guess, becoming comfortable with somebody and then losing the things that made you guys like each other in the first place. That terrifies me, especially seeing how long some people can hold up the facade of this personality that they've created for their partner. I'm curious, who do you think is more likely to do this, men or women? I think that women tend to be more insecure. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this allows somebody to lie more because you're trying to be something that you're not. You don't feel like your full self or your your complete self is enough for the person. So you're going to lie about being better. Yeah, I guess... I feel as though women are more driven towards commitment, so they're more willing to do whatever it takes to Mm -hmm. get there. I could see in more low stakes situations, men being the ones to lie. Like the men who just want the first date or just want to hook up or something like that. I'm sure they'll go, they'll go bend over backwards to paint this perfect picture of themselves. But as far as long term relationships go, I feel like women take the cake when Mm -hmm. it comes to lying about who they are it's funny the two different end goals will determine yeah what if you will be more honest 100 percent, 100 percent. and all this to say if you start dating somebody and they're pretending to read the books that you're interested in because they stalked you on instagram please do not look at that as something that is charming and endearing i can promise you it's not and if somebody is saying that they like the exact same things that you like investigate ask them questions See if they really do love it or they're just saying it because people might just be saying it to win over your approval. And part of me wonders, you know, if she was lying about these books, which is what she's claiming, how did she get all the way to marriage without this being figured out? Or did he figure it out and just simply not care that she did this to him? And it was just endearing. I and I made this comment before. I think men don't actually care if you share the same interests. They, I think they just care if you're pretty and nice. So... He probably didn't, he didn't actually care to discuss her opinion on these books. Yeah, I guess it depends on the guys. Uh, Men, you're going to have to defend yourself in the comments (laughs) on that one. Do you care? Would you actually investigate if a girl pretended to like the same books or movies that you, that you like and that you're interested in? Let us know. But I digress. Uh, All this to say, I feel as though personality catfishing is a much bigger problem than look catfishing first of all with the looks you can figure that out immediately personality you're going to figure out that way way down the line so we want to hear from you guys let us know in the comments down below how you feel about the topic whether or not somebody has done this to you if they did when did you find out are you a personality catfish (laughs) i doubt you guys would out yourselves in the comments (laughs) if you like this video please like subscribe and click the notification bell that's it y'all we'll see you next time bye